Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I try and do weekly videos on the outdoor survival do-it-yourself and reviews. And in this video, I wanted to go over a little bit of instruction slash tutorial. What if I told you you can range your targets using your mill dot reticle without any charts or without a bunch of calculations? And this can be done without batteries, with a tool that's relatively inexpensive, durable, and is super, super lightweight. What I'm talking about is the Mill Dot Master. This is a tool that I've owned for over 10 years. I've been using it ever since really I, I picked up a long range rifle. And what it allows you to do is to make on the fly calculations using a analog computer. So when I say analog computer, I know there's a lot of you guys uh, or millennials They'll be like, what is that even? And anyone that's born probably before the 80s knows what a slide rule is. This is pretty much a slide rule, but weaponized and uh, is really useful for guys that are shooting long range. Check it out. The Mill Dot Master is pretty cool. It's only the thickness of a couple credit cards. It's flexible, doesn't take any batteries, and it's really easy to switch from yards to meters. All you have to do to make the switch is take out the insert. You'll notice that one side of the insert is measured for yards and on the flip side, it's measured for meters. Just place the insert back in with whatever one works with you. Since I was born in the States, I tend to think in yards. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the Mill Dot Master. You'll see that on the window on the left side of the Mill Dot Master, you'll have target size, And right here, you will have target range. Just below that, you will have an incline decline adjustment for angled shooting, but we'll get into that later. For elk, the average shoulder to chest height is 36 inches. We will mill in at 2.25 mils. Using the mill dot master, it's very easy to range. All you have to do is locate the 36 inches for the target height. Then take the insert and slide it down so that it lines up with 2.25 mils. From here you will see that the target range for this example is 450 yards. This other window here is for bullet drop and it can also bridge the gap between MOA and milliradians. So if you calculate your bullet drop in inches it allows you to convert inches into either MOA or milliradians. Take for example at 450 yards, you have a bullet drop of 25 inches. You'll see that on this side it comes to about 1.5 milliradians, and if you look on the other side of the window, it comes to about 5.4 MOA. This window is also really good for converting MOA to milliradians. An example for when you need to do this is when your turrets are MOA but your reticle is in milliradians, or your spotter has a milliradian reticle on the spotting scope but your turrets are in MOA. You can use the top or the bottom edge of the insert as a straight edge to line up the measurement. Take for example that your spotter says that you're 0.7 milliradians off. You can see that that's approximately 2.4 MOA and you can dial it into your turrets. Let's take a look and see how this can help us shoot at high angles. On the back, you'll see that there's a protractor, and you'll use the top edge to sight in your target. The weighted string will hang freely, and once you trap the string, you can read your angle measurement. Let's take 50 degrees as an example. We'll be shooting at a distance of 400 yards line of sight. Based on your 50 degree decline, your bullet will only fall as if the target was 260 yards away. So you can see that the simple device allows you to supplement and back up your more expensive tools like laser rangefinders, inclinometer, and basic calculator. Let's see how this thing can help you set up some of your data before you even get out to the field. Let's say we're getting ready for a big deer hunt. We know that on average, the size of deer from the shoulders to its chest is approximately 18 inches. With this data, we can create a table to help us quickly range targets. We'll take the 18 inch target and we will create a table with different measurements. We'll start with one mil and increase by one quarter mil and begin to write down the corresponding distance based on the mil reading. 
From there, we can write the bullet drop and wind hold based on five miles per hour. So it's really easy to do mental math. The idea is that you can quickly mill the target, find the range, and therefore get the corresponding bullet drop and windage in a relatively short amount of time. For me, the perfect place to keep this data is on the rifle. I just did a video on my preferred way of doing this, which is the X-Ring Armory RDS. So that is my quick tutorial on how to use the mill.master. Again, this thing is super awesome. It's lightweight, durable, doesn't take any batteries, and it's always gonna be with you. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. I try and answer every single comment. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me to know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.